What's up folks, welcome back to another video, Boozer here. In today's video, we're going to be doing our live PvP, so let's jump right into it. So, here we go, we're in gold 4, still hanging on, <clears throat> roughly about top 200, um, it's under 1800 games played. Here's my area bonuses, um, almost done on Hydra, almost done Fire Knight. Uh, I'm gonna probably save some medals here and decide what to do for Curse City, but I definitely want to put some in for Curse City. Uh, I think it's gonna be probably speed or ignore defense uh, as priority, similar to how you build out the Hydra and the Fire Knight uh, factions. I'm uh, sorry, the the bonuses there. So Curse City will probably be the same same way. Yes, yeah, these are the higher values, Grade Three. That's something to work on but in the meantime let's jump right into it roster wise we haven't really done too much uh changes when we get our mans that's going to be a big change <clears throat> so we'll build something out build uh build them out uh for arena of course um i'm also waiting for lethal for our, the dark fey rotation to end i guess um <clears throat> And then uh, waiting for CBC, obviously. So after CBC, we'll get um, we will get um, <clears throat> a chance to forge and craft uh, all our lethal gear. I think I'm looking at 130-ish, probably 140-ish when I'm done, when the month's done. 140 crafts, roughly. So <clears throat> ex excited for that. So both his damage dealers are chosen. Um, I'm going to go with the... Uh, I mean, we're probably going to pass... Remove Rhonda, right? So remove Rhonda. Um, Arima probably works pretty well here. So... Yeah, let's do that. Our last pick will be Warlord, most likely. <clears throat> if he goes like Hellcats, then we'll come in with uh, Makage. But we're going to ban <clears throat> Ronda, most likely. Going with triple damage dealers, so I guess we go Tormin. <clears throat> and we will remove... We'll still remove Ronda, I think. <clears throat> Ragash, no defense up. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. I mean, we have Taras. Taras could, like, one-shot the whole team in some cases. Tormund's there. Tormund can uh, lock out. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. There we go. We got the uh, freezes on them. Nope. Nope. It's pretty much over. Yep, GG. That was pretty quick. Uh, Torment counters Arbiter and Susan pretty good, especially if they don't run Seafy. So. And then uh, the UDK will stop the Wukong uh, big A2 blast. So, <clears throat> worked out pretty good for us. <clears throat> Sifi. UDK is just really good against Sifi. I tend to rely on Sifi here. Okay. So we will ban Harima. <clears throat> he might ban UDK knowing that his Wukong can't go through UDK. <clears throat> this is a tough combo here. <clears throat> Hmm. 
You'll probably ban maybe one of the damage dealers. Hard to say. UDK is the correct ban, I think. UDK is the correct ban. Because UDK stops Makage, Sifi, Wukong. But let's see who he bans. Don't think I would have banned uh, Warlord. <laughs> but we'll play Locked Out. We have two. Uh, we have our two strongest damage dealers. So we'll slowly kill the Sifi and after that we'll just kill the rest. Should be okay here, I think. But uh, yeah, Makage is very annoying. He has like three insane CC champions. So it's definitely possible that uh, we just don't get a turn and then we just end up losing to uh, this Wukong that slowly kills us. And I lost my block debuffs on the Rotos, which is really, really bad because now the... Uh, and I lost my stone skin, which is really, really bad. Shoot. Yeah, this is really, really bad. Um, okay. Damn, now he can full stun the team. Pretty disgusting. Lost the block debuffs here to the steel. Really, really sucks. What is he doing? Why doesn't he just go for the full stun? It's kind of strange. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, he could go for it now, too. Same thing. Might get sheeped. No sheep. He's just waiting for something. Guess he was waiting for that. Resisted. Yeah, pretty annoying. So I guess that's going to be the end of it. Unless uh, Rodos pops off here. Fuck. Just this much life. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe we can come out of this. We need to kill Makage. Otherwise, Makage is just going to do this to us. <clears throat> We're not going to get a turn again. Weak hit. Okay. Makagi's gonna get another turn. <clears throat> Got the stun, I guess. Damn. 
Guess we were close. Guess we were close. Hmm. Feel like we probably should have won that one. Feel like we probably should have won that one. Hmm. <clears throat> Feel like we probably should have won that one. Lost CC, right? Lost CC. But I feel like maybe we should have won that one. <clears throat> Seeing Wukong show up in the first two fights, kind of interesting. This guy's a pain in the ass. Let's try something different. UDK is just no good against this guy. Ports are chosen. He won't. He doesn't have UDK. I guess this only makes sense. You have to pick one damage dealer. But this is going to be a, kind of a tough match too. <clears throat> tough match coming. It is negative affinity to Pytheon, so... Pretty good slams. <clears throat> She's locked out, can't revive. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. This support, right? So he doesn't do that much damage. He's just a support champion. <clears throat> A 
thought she already used that. Son of a... <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty gross. <clears throat> okay, small chance. Gonna get full stunned here. Um, I'm unsure how to deal with this guy. Like, how am I supposed to deal with this guy? I can't... <clears throat> like, I guess I have to kill him first, right? And then kill the revivers? Like, I kill him, he triggers his block damage. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't really get it. <clears throat> I'm not sure um, I fully get this guy's kit. Like, tax all enemies, resets cooldown. If he kills an enemy, resets cooldown. All this, if he kills two enemies, tax one. <clears throat> Cleanse, heal, revives, then place block damage on all. <clears throat> if this so, if he is about to get killed, he plays block damage on himself, heals himself, then he transforms, and then he revives everyone. <clears throat> so, how do you deal with this guy's passive? Block buffs, I guess? Hmm. Man, that's annoying. <clears throat> that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> yeah, he hits hard enough now after his buff, so... A little bit annoying there. Usually, <clears throat> you pick Narciss, Narcis, and then you leave Ancora till later. Because you don't necessarily need them together for him to be good. Picking them together doesn't make sense because I would never pick Ancora, right? Here, I'm just going to ban Narcis and deal with Wukong. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, I mean, it is what it is. He could kill Seafy right away if he's fast enough. He might be. He has an aura, right? I don't have an aura. But uh, yeah, he went with three damage dealers unless uh, Wukong is um, support. He could full stun everyone. Rotos will be alive. Uh, Rotos will be debuffed. I mean, has the debuff removed? <clears throat> kind of need Seafy to live just for a one buff, maybe. Oof, that's close. That was a big hit. No defense up. Hmm. Only got the A one, right? Oh, damn. Over now. All right, got to win. Back in the win column. Let's go. Red Naz. I think he's in another content creator. Look for Taras. Yeah, Taras first. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Harima and Rodos here. He won't go Rodos because of Harima, most likely. <laughs> Still goes for Rodos. What can you say? Mm. Overall, it's going to be tough. If that Rotos gets off, it's kind of lights out for us. We don't really have much um, protection, right? don't think I can go through reaction, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to try to kill Rotos. Almost. Nice. All right, so the threat's down. Just got to keep them locked down. Decrease cooldown. Damn it. Okay, we got the increased attack here too. That's kind of nice. Should we try?
Kind of close. Gonna save the AoE. Okay, come on. The A1 from her has a chance to decrease cooldown, I think. So. Uh. Hmm. I kind of want to provoke, but I kind of want defense up. Provoke. I gotta be careful, she has the sheep too, right? Six star sheep there. Yeah, there it is. I think I'm going to use the AoE now from Georgian. No good. It's not enough. It's not enough. Don't attack up. I think we got this a little bit slow, but I think we got this. <clears throat> well, maybe not. Might be able to pick up Rotos here. Might be able to pick up UDK. Yeah, no turn meter drop. Okay, that's pretty good. Should be no revive here. I got the triple hit ready. Revoke. Sleep. <clears throat> yeah, GG. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we played that one pretty good. Didn't expect him to go UDK Rotos at the end there after I picked Harima. Same guy again. He's going to go Taras open again. I think we're going to go with the same strategy. Go Harima. Yeah, he's going the same strategy. Um, I mean, we could go, we could do this, <clears throat> but that means he can pick UDK and then pick whatever, and then we're going to be left with dealing with, uh, Taras might not be as good situation. Might go Makage again. Makage is pretty safe.
He might switch it up. He might not go Rotos this time. He's going three damage dealers. I think accuracy. Okay. See what happens here. He's going um pretty pretty all in here with the um <clears throat> with the damage dealers. We can CC them all, I hope. He does have a couple sheeps here. Pretty nice, almost killed him. The Ross says sheep. Yeah, GG man. <laughs> he went three damage dealers? Why? Why three damage dealers, bro? Yeah, this guy lost to this guy against his uh, sig friend. Lost against his sig friend. We ran Pythion last time. And we had Necrit too. They all just fell, fell kind of flat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe Makage, Makage Rodos, but he gets the last pick. Yeah, he went with Siegfried at the end last time. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, he went with Sigfriend last last time. Mm. Rotos has the A3 ready, so I can come back in and kill uh, Sifi. There she goes. All right. 
Uh, how about decrease attack or decrease defense? That's okay. Got the strip. Hopefully she gets sheeped here. No. Yeah, now she can sleep uh, Taras. <laughs> Good. She can sleep Rotos. Still no. <clears throat> So nasty. So nasty. Am I ever going to get a turn again? He probably should have slept Duchess. But let's see what he's going to do. Trying to kill Duchess. Pretty close. Man. It's so disgusting, man. What's the strategy here? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, do I, like, do I kill him first? Let him get picked up? Like, <clears throat> what's the, what's the strategy here? I, like, to be honest, I haven't played against him that much because before last week he was totally irrelevant. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what's the strategy. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I guess if I hit him first, he doesn't revive anyone. So that might be good. Kage is good against the lockout. Um, I guess he doesn't have Sifi himself. Let's see who his other damage dealers are. Uh, he went Georgia, Rodos, Taras, Narcis. There's Rodos. I mean, we come in with the Arbiter, Arbiter Georgian, or Harima. We go Harima with another Reviver. <clears throat> and then ban the, uh, ban the Duchess. Let's go Harima with another Reviver. Could go Necrit too, actually. Yeah, let's go Necrit. One, two, three. So he supports the pick. So his last pick is probably going to be Georgian, right? All right, this looks good. Foreman, so he's gonna ban Zifi. Um we ban this guy. We ally attack kill Rodos. And we'll take the resistance just in case. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Kill the kill the Rodos right away. <clears throat> Didn't do it. Now we're going to be locked out. Nice. Got the sheep. Locked out. But we're frozen. Nice. Okay, so Rose is down. He's sheeped. <clears throat> we are locked out. 
little bit annoying. Now let's transform and then just stun them before block Nebos come out. That's it. That should be GG for this guy. Should we kill the Tormin? I mean, kill the uh, Warlord ASAP. Mm, didn't strip that. It's pretty hard. <clears throat> I uh come on man. Come on man. There we go. Can we ally in or are we gonna get all frozen here? Yes, everyone's got frozen. Can't kill him there. <clears throat> All right, GG. <clears throat> GG. We got him three times today, so that's quite a bit. 3-0 and against Red Nas today. Not somebody I run into a lot, actually, but I, I, I did play him like one or maybe two or three times, maybe two times. Not enough that I, I know too much about his roster. I know he has a Georgian. I know he has a Taras. That's about it. Don't want to don't want to run into that guy with the the sig friend uh, again. I thought I had a chance that last fight, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Same situation here. We talked about this. Usually, you just pick Narcis and then just leave Ancora till later, right? You don't necessarily need Ancora with Narcis because I'm not going to pick Ancora. So you have free option of picking Ancora anytime you want. <clears throat> you know, maybe I should pick Makage instead of Warlord. Because usually when you <clears throat> pick Mythicals, they don't only really come back in with like a lockout. So usually your Warlords or your Warlord or what my Warlord or whatever would be like a free pick later if I want. Maybe I'll do that. Like, you might think twice, right? If I pick Makage early, you might think twice. Okay, so he's going Rodos. <clears throat> I think Makage is fine here. Arima also works very well. Okay. He has to pick a support. He's probably going to ban the lockout. So it's going to be Makage, Sifi with two damage dealers against Rodos. One ally attack, he should be dead. Unless he picks like Necrit. Duchess. Or the extra revive, I guess. 
If she's locked out, she won't be able to do anything. So let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Take the accuracy. Uh, Makage's accuracy is not super high. So accuracy aura puts it at about 550. We should go first. And then we should be able to lock him out. Yeah, okay. He spiked a turn? Son of a... No! Absolutely insane, man. He's above 50% HP, too. <clears throat> That's pretty lucky. <clears throat> Man, if CT didn't die. They're weakened. Maybe this will do something. Nope. Enough. Get that cooldown thing. Unbelievable, man. Okay, so made it through. It's a pretty big deal. Should be locked out, so only A1. <clears throat> Extra turn. This guy's getting super lucky, man. Super, super lucky. Extra turn here, too. Fuck. Super lucky. I mean, there's no way we can win now, I think. It's just... He needs a counterattack to kill him, and... It's... Yep. <clears throat> Super lucky. Thirty million account, yeah. Sounds about right. Ah, GG. <clears throat> GG, GG. <clears throat> Ooh, plus four, plus four. That's pretty gross. Um, yeah, that's pretty gross. Plus four, plus four. That's gross.
Yes, I'm not sure what we want to do. Probably Necrit. We'll go Makage. Let's go Makage. Yeah, clearly this guy's accounts in another another league. <clears throat> Six star here already, four star here already. It's, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Necrit protection, but yeah, that plus four, <clears throat> plus four Ragash is pretty crazy. <clears throat> We do have sheep here, so... He has a lot of sheep. Oh. Oh. We got sheep by the warlord, I guess. Yeah, sheep, sheep, sheep. Yeah. Everybody has sheep. It would have been impossible. <clears throat> would have been impossible to not get sheep, I think. <clears throat> Big swipe here. No. Not sure how I'm supposed to how I'm gonna win this fight. To be honest. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm gonna win this fight, because for us. really kill any of them with one hit I'm locked out yeah and our, it's slowly dying this is this is not happening this is not happening even with Makage look at that Almost killed Taras in one hit. This is not even a fight, to be honest. It's like nothing. This guy's account is probably like 35 million. Yeah, 36 million. It's it's not even a fight. It is more than double my player power. Like that's like champions, empowerments, gear. It's just another league, you know. Is no chance. Same thing with this guy. 30 million is no chance. That's why when I'm hitting his support champions i can't even kill them um and his rotos hit so hard uh he got kind of lucky too but like it is what it is um yeah this guy we, we had a real tough time against this guy the sig friend guy i have no idea how to what to do against this guy so it's a learning experience for sure red nas we got some good fights here against red nas uh, we kind of went the same thing against him um, he switched it up after he lost the first one. He switched it up against us a little bit. 
Um, but it seems like we mostly got in with Harima. Harima actually did quite well for us today. Yeah, this guy beat us up, the Siegfried guy. This guy. I feel like we probably should have won this one. Um, he just had so much CC. So much CC and we had like no block debuffs on our team basically. Um, yeah, that was a tough one. This one, this one was a good win. Tormin was perfect. Perfect uh, counter pick for this guy's draft. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, these accounts you're going to lose to, 36 and 30 million, you're going to lose to these guys. Um, you know, you, we're supposed to beat guys roughly around our player power, like 15, 16. This guy just has the Sigfrin and a better account. Red Naz, good player. Got lucky on him today. Should have beat this guy, I think, but... Anyways, it's all good. How many losses today? We went five and five. Shit, five and five. I thought we did a little bit better, but uh, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, appreciate you all watching. I'm gonna show you guys the champions real quick, and then we're off. So, Kage, Kage saw a lot of play today. Taras, UDK, EP, or Arima saw some play today. So. She's not the strongest, to be honest. She's just, she does okay. Duchess. Georgia saw some play. Pythion saw one game. Foreman saw one game, too. So, anyways, folks, like I said, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Sigfriend and uh, how do we deal with him. Um, if you have him, congratulations. He seems to be very, very strong. And yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the fights. And we'll see you guys in the next video.